was it? The Green Party was the? The Green Party was the three-toed sloth. Okay, the Green Party is the, the whatever yeah. sloth. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the the three-toed. The three-toed sloth. The okay. The four-toed and the two-toed sloth. I didn't know right. that. They hang around. They don't get anything done, and they just look kind of silly. Yeah. Yeah, well, the reason why nobody ever sees a three-toed sloth is because they hang there in a tree looking like moss. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, then you've got the NDP, one of my favorite parties. Right. Uh, I thought, let's see, what kind of animal you could represent the NDP when you saw it, you didn't instantly get it, and I thought, I got it, the sheep. Sheep are as dumb as rocks. They really are, and they will follow anywhere, any, anyone who even remotely resembles the leader. And I think that really summons up this current situation with the leader of the NDP party uh, leading them over the political cliff with their little friends. The sheep sounds pretty bad to me, so I kind of thought that would be an interesting choice. And I'm open to be. Uh, other suggestions, by the way, if people in the chat room or somebody hears about this later on a podcast comes up with a better animal than the sheep for the NDP or the three-toed sloth for the greens, okay, then that leaves a force. All right, next. Okay, so let's go talk about the main party, uh, main party, the liberals. Okay, so what kind of creature would represent the liberals the most? Well, let's see. I thought about the sea lamprey because it's always it, it draws the fluid out of its host, but not enough to kill it, just enough to to make it weak. And then I thought, no, that was the city of Ottawa. I did that on terrestrial radio, and we gave that honor to the city of Ottawa, so I can't use that. What else does something like that? the leech? The leech. <laughs> Yes. So when somebody walks around with a red button with a black leech on it, you'll know they're a liberal because they're bloodsuckers. They keep taking, they keep taking, they keep, but they don't kill their host. Unless, of course, there's too many, and then you end up with an emaciated corpse. So there's that's the leech. The Tories, and I'm saving the best for last, uh, and the Tories are not the last on the list, have to be the goats. They're not a whole lot brighter than the NDP, but at least they try. And they can, if you've ever had an argument with a goat, you'll know they can be pretty stubborn. So I just thought that might might be the symbol for the Canadian um, Party, Conservative Party of Canada would be a goat. But my favorite of all of them has to go to the Bloc Québécois. I posted a picture over on my Facebook page tonight under the heading. Let me just scroll up to it here. I have it right here. In case you're feeling down about your life or growing older, think about how this guy must feel. And the picture is of a, a blue-eyed baby eye-eye. A-Y-E, A-Y-E. It's a real animal. It uses echolocation the way a bat does, the only mammal that does it. They're about 14 to 17 inches long, and they are so ugly, even their mothers don't love them. And I think that pretty much, part of the reason why I picked them is because in this particular image, it happens to look a lot like Clive Doucette, one of the most well-known block leaders. Jill, when I Jill, look at Jill, it, I can... Jill Doucette. Oh, did I get it? I said Clive Doucette. That's okay. Well, like I called Doucette. you... Well, that's okay, because I called you Nook. <laughs> that's okay. So now we're square. <laughs> hey, Clive Doucette, different kind of animal. Anyway, uh, no, Jill Doucette. This guy, this image, when you look at it, and if you could transpose Jill Doucette's face, they would almost blend perfectly together, right down to the the fair hair on the head and the great big ears. <laughs> so the blue eyed baby eye eye for the end for the uh, Bloc Québécois because nobody really cares what they have to say. They're a one trick pony, and oh my, uh, if you're going to be a one trick pony, you better be better looking than this one. 
So where are these that's one where, ugly looking animal? Where, where are these blue eyed eye eyes? And just let's I just re, re, to confirm the spelling, it's a y e a y e. That's what they're and and but I I just want to make sure that people know the correct spelling because if you're you're going to want to go to your computer and you're going to want to Google the image of these eye eyes because they are ugly animals. Okay, um, but Nick, where 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 do they originate from, Nick? Where where can you find them other than you know the House of Commons in Canada? To find them in their natural habitat outside the outside the House of Commons, right? You would have to go to Madagascar. Madagascar. Madagas- Madagascarians. Madagascar. And they are wow. uh, they're with the lemur family. Madagascarians. That's a tongue twister. Is that the proper uh, term for someone have from Madagascar? Teeth. It is now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of those pictures have teeth. Some of these things have teeth. Are they? Car- I know. Some of them look absolutely mean. Okay, so uh, when you were looking if, them I, up on I the internet, Jesus. are they carnivores? Like, do they eat meat? Do they attack people? That's what I want to know. Uh, omnivorous. They'll eat anything. Wow. <laughs> yep. They're omnivorous. Do they, they will eat anything? Do they fly? A predator. Do they fly? Uh, I don't think so. Do they glide? <laughs> uh, on the island of Madagascar, they are considered unlucky and an omen of death by the local population, who often kill or poach eye eyes when they see them. Wow. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is suiting the party better and better all the time. No, no, you know, it's really funny, actually. If you look at some of those pictures in Google, like, it's people seem to be keeping them as pets. Sort of like the flying squirrels, people. Yeah, some of them. Good, good. Grief. Listen, I've just uh, they eat insect larvae. Okay. The eye eyes die is highly specialized, consisting of mainly the interior of rami nuts, nectar from the traveling's palm tree, and some fungi and insect grubs. That sounds like the block. <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! <laughs> Okay, too much fun, too much fun, Nick. Uh, if you, if you guys out oh there God. listening I... to us want to come up with a, you know, name the animal, f- match the animal to the party, uh, you know, send us an email at uh, comments at the Nick and Joe Show dot com. Yes. You know, we do have include the ability. an image, include an image. Include yeah, we'll a, check it out. Uh, include a picture, Nick. We're coming up. Yeah. We're coming up. Look, this is this is. Go ahead. Finish what you're saying, Nick. We're coming up. We're, we're, I was just going to say uh, we can amend our list and change it if that's necessary. If you come up with a better animal than I, uh, <clears throat> than we have, uh, AJ said he'd consider bats, considering to be politically blind to their future. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Okay, that's we're having too much fun, ladies and gentlemen. It has been. A smashing show. Brilliant, as they would say if we were in the United Kingdom. But we're not, so we're going to say thank yes. you very much for joining us tonight on the Nick and Joe Show. Uh, tell your friends about us. Don't forget, you, if you're, uh, again, you if you're catching the podcast, share it with your uh, friends and neighbors. We will come back at you again next Wednesday live here on thinkradio.ca and maybe some more announcements coming next week. Stay tuned. That's it for me, Nick. You just never know. All right, Joseph. With that said, I'll bow us out tonight again. We'll be carry toss at Hamor. They are CBS. Good evening. God bless. Don't let anything disturb your peace, not even a blue-eyed baby. Aye, aye. And may you have a fair wind and a following sea. 